After a win this weekend, it's the international break and our city stars are off around the world. Having moved up to second in the table with our win over Aston Villa on Saturday, things are going to be, well, a little bit quieter around here for the next few weeks, with our players now off on international duty. 14 first-team players have been called up, although Fernandinho has been forced to miss out for Brazil because of injury. Yaya Torre, who's away with Ivory Coast, says it's important the team stay focused for when they return back for Spurs. Oh yeah, it was very important, you know, because now the, the league is coming very tough, you know, because actually we have to play every three games, you know, because myself, to be honest, I'm not prepared to play just one game. I'm preparing my head and my body, I prepare my body and my head to play, I think, a 50 or 60 game, 60 game in, in the season, you know. It's just about, it's just, just about two, three games and I have the rest. I have to play all the games and I have to prepare my body and myself and my mind as well for all those games. And, you know, sometimes it's going to be, it's, 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 it cannot be so good, but sometimes the most important is the result is most important, you know, because in the end of the day, we, we just remember the team who won. Manchester City women suffered their second consecutive defeat at the weekend as they faced title contenders Birmingham City ladies. After an opening goal from the visitors on 15 minutes, Jill Scott levelled the scores with this superb effort, but it wasn't enough to seal the point. Birmingham capitalising on a mistake to eventually end the game 2-1. Patrick Vieira's elite development squad have gone top of the Barclays under-21 Premier League table after a 2-0 victory over Fulham. First half goals from Sinan Baitici and Brandon Barker sealed the three points, making it their third win in a row. Meanwhile, City's under-18s returned to winning ways, firing four goals past Liverpool on Saturday. Tosin Adebayo showed just why he signed his first professional contract this week by scoring twice. A strike from Isaac Buckley and a stunner from Bursant Salina made up the 4-2 win. David Villas taken to training for the first time at our sister club, Melbourne City. The Spanish striker's on loan from New York City and could make his debut against Sydney on Saturday. And how would you like the chance to meet Manuel Pellegrini? Well, he's going to be here in the store on Wednesday signing copies of this new book, retelling last season. It's full of absolutely stunning images and most of them were taken by our very own club photographer Shaz. Uh, Shaz, it must have been quite a massive job putting this together. Just a little bit. It took <laughs> most of the summer, so from the start of June when we finished the season straight till the end of June before pre-season, bang, done. Wow. I mean you get so many great photos throughout the season. How do you pick? So. <laughs> well you do. How do you pick which ones go into the book? It's a difficult one. I want to try and make sure that people get to see stuff that they wouldn't normally see. I take so many photographs. I've got such a vast choice of images to choose from. It's brilliant. Um, but I like to give people a snippet of behind the scenes as well as goal scoring action and celebrations and moments that we all remember. So it, that's why it takes so long to put together because you have to go through month by month and choose player by player as to what's the fan going to like. If I think about the fan, then it usually works. Do you have a favourite? Can you pick one? I can't, no. <laughs> there are some great pictures in there from the actual um, dressing room because I always get, I always think it's a massive privilege to be allowed in the dressing room when a team's won the Premier League or a trophy of that sort. And the images are just great. And I love all of that selection of people screaming and the emotions that you get from winning a trophy like that. So I think that's probably my favourite set. But then there's the odd sneaky picture of Sergio pulling a face that he pulls or Eddie looking sultry or collar off just winking down the lens or smiling every now and again. So those are, those are in there as well. And I know that the first one we did of these was just a massive bestseller and this is such a good opportunity for fans to relive the drama of last year because you kind of forget what we went through. Yeah, because you, you, you get through the season and it's done and it's gone in a moment, hasn't it? So to actually have this book, you're able to see again and relive those images and relive those moments and sometimes people spot themselves in the pictures and go, oh, 
look, I'm in the crowd. So that's great as well. Um, but it, it encompasses everything that happened last season and that's the key thing. So it's there, it's going to stand the test of time and everyone's going to keep hold of it. The last one, yeah, was one of the top selling books, sports books on Amazon. So let's hope it does the same again. Great, thank you very much Sharon. Well, uh, if you want details of the signing, then head to our website. For now though, that's the latest from us here on City Today. We'll see you on Thursday.